we left Tahseen Tilka Ayat al Qur'an wa Kitab al Mubeen. In that month of Tahseen was the ta and purified secret, Allah's most purified secret that He's taking our souls into that journey of that reality, time is not left, there's no time left. This is a journey into the heart and into the reality and haqqaiq of Sayyidina Muhammad and Tahir al-Hadi from Taha the purified secret. Most purified, nothing can be more purified. As a result Allah it's so pure it is haqq and as a result of its haqq my holy words can move through its reality. Seen it's the immense secret, the secret of every light and the light of every secret. Every reality will be emanating from that reality. Then we entered into the month of Suratul Yaseen where again Allah is now giving the secrets of that reality that you entered that cave and the kingdom of 27. In the reality of 36 you entered into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad where this fire is flowing out of Divine Presence of which Allah for our adab Tahseen Ayat al-Qur'an, Ayat al-Qur'an, you can't even say it's Qur'an because Allah there's no shariq, it's not created Allah's Qur'an, Allah's Divinely speech is not created. So Allah gives us the adab of it's Ayat al-Qur'an, Ayat min Ayatullah, these are the signs of Allah it's a sign, you can't say it is the Qur'an, it's a sign the fire that you're witnessing with your soul on this miraj into the heart of Prophet is a fire of re Divine realities that is the fire of the presence of who? This is the fire of the presence of Sayyidina Musa it's so is reflection on earth. When Allah described, come, come forward, take your shoes off, this is a holy precinct. Those whom are around it and whom are in it are blessed. That was for Bani Israel. For Ummat Muhammad they're in, not in a reflection, they're in the haqqaiq and the reality of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and they manifest on this world from that reality. They are the walking burning bushes upon this earth, their heart carry the flame of that reality, not the miraj. Nabi Musa witnessed the miraj of that reality, but they carry that reality on this earth. And this is the rahmah and the mercy of Sayyidina Muhammad So what Allah now describes from the 36, Ya Seen. Allah now swearing by the Ya that all uloom, all knowledges are in the kalam, in the alphabet and huruf. All the way from alif all the way to the letter Ya, 28 letters comprise the entire alphabet, the Arabic alphabet. And Allah giving a gift that how can I describe to you, I want to give you every knowledge. So it means that every letter because every Nurul Anwa Siratul Asrar, every secret of light and every light of every secret, another way of saying that every knowledge is with letters. So if I give you the secret of these letters, you'll have the secret of all knowledges. Whatever will comprise and conform itself into a word, you've been already given the secret of every single one of these huruf and their infinite capacity will be dressed upon your heart and your soul. When Allah is swearing by the Ya that all my aloom, all my secrets, every reality and how this knowledge of Ya 
how it manifests on the scene. That every knowledge of ilmu yaqeen, every knowledge of ayn al yaqeen, every knowledge of al haqq yaqeen is the secret of this scene. That the knowledge is of certainty, the vision and spiritual reality of every certainty and how it will manifest for you as a haqq of certainty. Allah swears by that reality as you're in now the fire of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad This is a journey to the Lord of power. That this fire you're in Allah is describing ayatul Qur'an, these are the signs of Qur'an. Now that you're inside the sign of Qur'an, you're inside the heart that's why Yaseen is love and Habib. Yaseen Habib Allah, you're now in the flame of Divinely love. Allah created this reality out of love to be known. So that every uloom is in this ya, every knowledge from alif to ya, I will be dressing you as a result it becomes ya. Because if you go from alif all the way to ya, what is left is the ya comes under the alif and becomes ya. So all knowledge is thrown into the heart. The seen becomes its manifesting reality. The seen and the secret that Allah begin to open for that servant will take all these knowledges and begin to give them all their alam, ilmu yaqeen, all the knowledges of certainty. Allah will begin to train them on how to open the eyes of certainty. They become from Ahlul Basira that your secret is in the unseen, not the seen of your physical eyes. How you meditate, how you contemplate, how you make your connection. By the knowledges they feed you, by the connection they teach you of muraqaba and muhassaba, muhabbat and tafakkur, all of that will build the haqq of yaqeen. So that you are a person who have been taught, you saw it and you understood the truth and nobody can tell you otherwise. And you're solid in yaqeen and firm in your belief, not from philosophy. Not from somebody's book and not from dreams, don't talk about dream world. Now half the world will be psychotic and crazy thinking what they saw in dreams. That's television land, we're talking about in reality. We're in your wakeful state and your meditation and contemplation to witness realities. Many crazy people will start contacting, I saw this, I'm this, I'm that, no, 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 no. Shaitan is playing with all your signals. If you're not seeing it in real time, meditating, contemplating through this channel and connection that they describe, they don't care to hear about it. If you're not able to connect with these awliya, receive the transmission, understand their knowledges and begin to connect real time into that, into the understanding, they're not waiting for dreams. Where people have fantasies, they're this, they saw this, they saw this unfold, they saw this unfold. That can be com complete fantasy. So then this reality of Yaseen, Allah just swears by Yaseen. Yaseen, what? Al Qur'an al Hakim. What can you swear by higher than Qur'an? Allah just saying, now that you entered in. Yaseen, I swearing by Yaseen, wal Qur'an Hakim because we said all the uloom. So all this hikmah and knowledge I swear by my… what is holiest that you can even understand. What can you understand is holiest of creation? Allah's uncreated speech. Allah just swears by the Qur'an on these realities. He's testifying to the ya and the seen wal Qur'an al hakim and every hikmah and knowledge that's going to be coming to you of the reality of Holy Qur'an is in this fire of this heart of Sayyidina Muhammad What's next verse? Describing Prophet that this is an honoured messenger and he's on a straight path, he is Sayyidina Siratul Mustaqeem. 
if your feet, that's why we said the najat and salvation is that if our feet are not on anyone else's foot, not follow this and follow that but my feet have to be on the feet and the love and the muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad If I'm following Prophet do I have love, do I have compassion, do I have all the good characteristics? And I feel that Sayyidina Muhammad is happy with my character, happy with my actions known and unknown, not the actions known to people and to present yourself as good and clean to people but doing unclean things behind. But is Prophet happy with me? If so, my feet on the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Sirat al-Mustaqeem and all this coming not from Rahim, not from Rahman but from Sifat al-Rahim, from the inner reality of the world of light, Tanzila Aziz al-Rahim. It's not coming from the world of form, this is sharat and this command is coming from the inner reality of the world of light. That Allah says, that which commands even your physicality, this command is coming from the world of light, your inner molecular reality. That Allah will send the command from your inner reality that your insides will change and begin to manifest the outside. This is not an outside change. That's why the tariqah doesn't need your outside to be changed and walk and talk a certain way. They need you to be cooked inside. Why? Because Ayatul Kareem, Tanzila Aziz Raheem, Raheem from Sifatul wa Salaamun Qawlum min Rabbil Raheem. Sifatul Raheem controls Sifatul Rahman, the inside controls the outside. If the inside is good and powerful, it will fix everything on the outside. But we live in a world that's called Facebook. Everything is looking good from the outside, inside may be rotten because you can't see. They found all these people on Instagram, they were all fake. They go in front of a car that's not theirs. They eat at a restaurant that they didn't even eat from that food, maybe they took a picture of somebody else's dish. Or they, there was a famous Chinese one, famous for posting food and they had her on like an investigative report. She was photoshopping food from other Google ads. She never even been to that restaurant. So we live in now the Dajjal time of complete deceit. And this Tanzil Aziz Rahim means what's coming to you is from the inner works of your soul. If Allah gives His rida and satisfaction and stamps its reality means your inner works will be all being perfected and your inner light perfected, your inner reality perfected, your inner connection perfected. Not the outer, the outer is of no need. The people whom focus only on the outer maybe their insides are rotten and maybe they, they attract a lot of people by that. And that becomes the Facebook of spirituality. But this way no. This way is that's why they're teaching, you have to make your connection with these shaykhs, help me at Nur Muhammad, learn how to make your meditation. It's the only source of power they're accepting. If you say, oh you've been chosen, I have an email now coming say, he's been chosen, he sees this, he sees that, it's all rubbish, all rubbish. Nobody been chosen for anything, the only chosen one is Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam. If you think you're having experiences, stand in line, everybody's having experiences. But are you connecting correctly, that's all they're interested in. Because Dajjal having experiences too and he's sending all his people to have experiences. I'm sure the, the people in, in the White House are having experiences. But this is <laughs> not, not the experience we're interested in. Experience is what? You connect your heart. You say, I'm Abdul Ajisu Da'if of miskeen, I'm a zalim and I'm an oppressor. I don't know myself, how I know my Lord? As soon as you tell us that you, you think you know something, let me tell you your seven names. You don't know yourself and you want to claim to know Allah No, so the path is what? I have to know myself. 
I know my first self is definitely an oppressor and I'm going to work on crushing myself to be nothing, to be nothing, to be nothing. Then I take a way of how to meditate and contemplate. And when I meditate and contemplate, I have to focus on the shaykh that's teaching me. I want to text 10 different shaykhs and read 10 different shaykh books and read this and read that and ask you about him and ask him about you and you're lost, you're all over the place. The one who's talking to you now, you better have a good connection. If not, tune into somebody else's channel and make your connection with them. How can you read 10 different professors and then hope to be tested by a different one? You don't do that at school, you never did that anywhere in your life. Make sure that your connection is clear. I'm hearing your talks, I'm communicating with you, I'm trying to learn how to make my connection. It's all clean, it's all oneness. When you start to bounce around then nobody knows what your coordinates are. How can you go to another shaykh and ask about us? And how can you come to us and ask about another shaykh? What do I know what he's doing? Are you connecting what you're doing? I don't know what you're doing. So it means you firm on how you interact. Make your connection, you build the connection and begin to build the fires that comes into your heart. And that heart begins to feel a light and feel an energy and give your support, support that which you believe in. Nothing you have now is going to save you from what's coming except your connection, your relationship, your amount of your commitment. We said before you go to an attorney, you go to a doctor, you do everything, you give every fee. You come to shaykh and you like, it's free. No, it's not free. The shaykh didn't get anything he has by being free. He gave his life, his blood, his sweat and his tears for his path. He gave everything to achieve that path. He made himself to be faqeer in the way of Allah Now if Allah enriched him that's because Allah cleaned it, took his dirty and gave him all of heavenly blessings upon him. There's not a Naqshbandi awliya that is in poverty. Is not the way of tariqah, it's the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad Nor are any of their students in that type of difficulty. But the way is based on, on, on active living it. You can't say you love something when you give nothing to it, you don't support it, you don't want to sacrifice for it. Our life is to make our love to be real, we are real people. When we say we love Sayyidina Muhammad then you see it. Do you see anybody with more mawlids than what we're doing? Are we a people that only say, yeah we love mawlid and Nabi Three days a week we have mawlid and Nabi We have to be real and that's a part of the whole thing. So all of these are step by step, step by step. So whenever you email us you'll get the appropriate response. One, this is the way, this is the foundation, this is the tariqah, these are the initial teachings. Make yourself to be firm with these teachings so that these realities they describe that the students are being dressed with. Now you say, I can't feel this energy you're talking about, make your connection. All these knowledges they're taking us on this journey. Whether you feel it or not doesn't matter. The fact that the shaykh is describing it is a glad tidings because you're on his tour bus. <laughs> Wherever he's going, whatever he's witnessing, whatever Allah dressing upon, they're dressing upon the students to understand. This tour bus isn't just going in a closet, you may be in a closet, they're not. Well, some people think this, nothing's happening. Nothing happening for you but not, <laughs> not for the shaykhs. The knowledge is that they're speaking, the reality they're speaking is from the deep depth of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and all these fires and all these realities dressing their soul and they give glad tidings that, come on board, participate, part partake in these ni'mat and these blessings and see if it doesn't change your life entirely within a short period of time and put a little bit of your effort and love into it so that you can receive its fires, receive its blessings and its bounty inshaAllah. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and make us to 
run to that Holy Presence to ask for forgiveness from every type of difficulty and that ourselves, our family and our communities to be safe from every difficulty that's coming. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.